All right, guys and gals. I know we talked about giving away freebies to your clients. Ooh, we're giving stuff away for free. Actually, this is a good thing. Um, what I want to show you here is how to edit a credit application for your clients. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is add their logo. Okay, and we have um, Adobe Acrobat Pro open, which is what you're going to need to do this. Um, first of all, we're going to go to Tools, Comment, and Markup. Then we're going to go to Stamps. Okay, now, actually, let me back up here. What you want to do first is go to your client's, your client's website or have them send you a copy of their logo and you can, or you can go to their website and get it, right click on it, click save picture, okay, put it, put it in the uh, folder you want it to go into. And then you're going to go back to your Adobe file, go to Tools, Comment, and Markup, Stamps, and then you're going to say Create Custom Stamp. Okay, then you're going to Browse, you're going to pick, pick the, uh, the stamp you want, and you may have to go and change this bottom file type from Acrobat PDF to, you know, whatever type of file type your file is, whether it's a PNG or a JPEG or a bitmap. Um, typically, you're going to want it in a PNG because that's a transparency file, and it's not going to put a different colored background on, on the credit app, and it's going to look the most flush. So if we go to PNG, and we tell it um, we want to make this logo a stamp, okay? And then we click OK, and then, you know, we name it what we want. And then we click Enter. And you always want to have it say Down Sample Stamp to Reduce File Size. Okay, because if your if your logo file is a big, huge file, then you're going to have a huge file on the credit app that they're going to have to email to their customers every time, and it's just going to make it a hassle to use. So you want to do this. It's it's a little something that you're not even going to tell your clients you do, but you're you're making it easy for them. By, by doing this, and, well, you're going to be a hero for it. Um, so we're going to click OK, OK, and new category. Type here to name a new category is not a category I have, so we just found that out. Um, you want to also select a category. <laughs> I guess I need some more coffee. Um, we're going to go to dynamic. Um, of course, you can pick any of them. But uh, I, I put mine in dynamic, and you're going to click OK. Then you're going to go back to your tools. You're going to go to comment and markup. And uh, you're going to go to stamps, and then dynamic. And let me try this again. Stamps, dynamic. There we go. And we're going to click the logo stamp. And sometimes it's going to come up really big because my logo is a high-resolution, really big file. That's why it looks so good on our website. I made it high-res. And, of course, I downsampled it once, once it was on, on the site to, to the point, up to the point of, you know, not, not losing any resolution, you know. That way we can have the best looking image. So if, if, if it comes out big like that, you're just going to take and 
and make the file smaller, okay? And, you know, you're going to put, put their logo right there for them, okay? And one thing, one thing you can do, because you're going to put this logo on every page for them, okay? One thing you are going to want to do is go to view and you can you can make Adobe give you a grid that way you don't have to eyeball it every time you put a logo on you can you can measure it up on the grid you know if, if, you know right now I have let's see if I want to stick this to where this is kind of in the corner of the square above where it says credit application well now I can go down I can I can hot I can select this and click control C to copy it or I can right click and well it doesn't look like right click copies it on this so you will have to hold down control and click C after you after you select it to copy it and then you're going to scroll down and you're going to click control V hold down control and hit V that is to paste it and you know you're gonna just pop this puppy in the same in the same location as what the other one is as as per your grid and you know you're gonna go down there and and you're gonna do it again on signatures and guarantee and since this one is in a little bit of a different place on a grid line we're coming up a little bit on this one so you can see how it's, you know, it's, it's, it, it's looking pretty good that we can, you know, go and pull our grid off by clicking view and then unselecting grid. And, you know, this isn't exactly in the middle. So, what I may have to do on this is go in and actually move this over a little bit, which I'll, I'll do after I complete this video, but um, anyway, this is this is one of the things you want to do. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do for your client is go to the bottom on the signatures and guarantee page or page three, if you will, and you're going to want to add the correct information down here. Okay, what state they're in, what state they're in again, what state they're in again. You're going to add the state three times. So the way you do this is you go up to Tools, you go to Advanced Editing, and you go to Touch Up Text Tool. Okay, and you're going to click on Touch Up Text Tool. Then you're going to go right here. You're going to highlight this, and you're going to type in your state. Now we need to put this state here, here, and here. So what we're going to do, instead of typing it three times, we're going to highlight it, hold down control, click C, then we're going to come here, highlight this one, hold down control and click V, and do the same thing on the next one. Okay? And then you're going to put whatever county they're in, which you might have to look up. You know, what city they're in. Is not, a city is not a county, so you look up their city, the city that the client's in, and see what county that is. And we're in Jefferson Parish. We don't actually have counties in Louisiana. We have what's called parishes. So... I'm just using this as an example. Then you're going to put your client's name, you know, whatever their name is. And, you know, credit is being extended by. And then you're going to copy and paste that by holding down Control and clicking C, then holding down Control and clicking V after you have it highlighted. Okay? Now, the next thing you're going to want to do for your client is add a footer to the bottom of their credit app. And the best way to do this 
is to look and see what they have on their website. Okay, most websites are going to have a footer on the bottom of them. If you look at ours, Lions and Associates LLC, copyright 2014, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to go all the way up to here. Of course, we're not going to copy and paste our privacy policy, but we're, we're just going to go ahead and copy this. And we're going to go back to our Adobe file. Okay, this time we're going to go to Document, Header and Footer, and we're going to click Add. We're going to want to center the footer text, put it in there, paste it right in there, and center footer text and click OK. And there we go. Of course, what you're going to want to do after that is go to File, Save As, and you're going to go in and save the file as whatever file name, you know, you give it your client's name. Uh, if your client was Lions and Associates, Lions and Associates Credit Act, then you save it, and of course, you you email it to your client. Um, one of the things you can also do that may help when when you're reducing file sizes and stuff like that. I'd say we're going to go Lions Credit App. You're going to take blank out of there, okay? And you save it, okay? One of the things you can also do for documents like this that you make for a client is go to document reduce file size okay and you want the compatibility version to stay you know retain existing whatever existing compatibility there is you're going to want to say that so you're going to click OK you're going to click save and you're going to have to overwrite the existing file to do this so you're going to click yes and it's going to do its thing and it's going to reduce the file size um, and now we have the customized credit application for your client and your client will be very happy with you if you do this for them I promise you and this is just another little tip to provide a better service for your clients.